Today's second grade lesson is from unit two, lesson number nine. In today's lesson, we will focus on making a new hundred. As you know, when we add our two digit numbers, if we have 10 or more ones, then we made a new 10. But we also can make a new hundred if we have 10 tens or more. Let's take a look at some practice problems. Here's our first problem today, 47 plus 28. Just like in previous problems, if you like to put your line down the middle to separate the tens and the ones, you can do that. We always start with the ones. I'm going to use touch points to add eight plus seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I have 15 ones, did I make a new 10? Yes, I did. So I put my new 10 in the tens column and I bring my five ones down to the bottom. Now I move next door and I count up my tens. Four, five, six, seven. Now in this problem, I did not make a new hundred because I only had seven tens. So my final answer is 75. Let's take a look at the next problem. 59 plus 30. I can separate my tens and my ones. I always start with my ones. Nine plus zero. Second grade, if I have nine and I get no more, I have nine. Does nine have a 10 in it? No, it's very close. So I can just pull my nine right down to the bottom. Now let's add our tens. Five, six, seven, eight. Did I make a new hundred? No, I did not, not yet. So my final answer is 89. Next, we have 72 plus 48. As always, I start in the ones column. I have eight plus two more. Eight, nine, 10. Oh, if I have 10 ones, did I make a new 10 second grade? Yes, I did. There's my 10. So I move it over into the tens column and I pull my zero down to the bottom. Now let's go to the tens. Seven plus four plus one. So I have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wait a minute. I have 12 tens. Now I know that 10 ones gives me a new 10. But what if I have 10 tens? That gives me a new 100. Now, if I had 12, I made a new 100, and I can just put the 12 right down at the bottom. That means that my final answer is 120. I had 12 tens, which gave me a new hundred because 10 tens gives me 100. Let's look at another example. 36 plus 13. I have six plus three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Does nine have a 10 in it? No, it does not. So I can just pull it straight down to the bottom. Then I have three plus one more. That gives me four. Did I make a new hundred in this one second grade? No, I did not. I didn't even make any new tens. I had no new groups of tens at the top. So my answer is 49. And let's practice one last problem together today. First, I start with my ones. And I have seven plus seven. That's one of my doubles, isn't it? Seven plus seven gives me 14. Does 14 have a 10? Yes, it does. So I put my new 10 at the top and I pull my four ones down to the bottom. Now let's look in the tens place. I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
12, 10. So what does that mean, second grade? I put the whole 12 down at the bottom and I made a new 100. 124. Remember, second graders, 10 ones gives me a new 10, and 10 tens gives me a new 100.